Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and we are over on Ark Survival Ascended. And as you can see right now, we have a Beazle Bufo in front of us and we also have access to a very nice cave. All you gotta do is have a primitive gas mask. I'm gonna go ahead and take GCM off so you can see what I'm talking about. But all you need is a pretty decent frog and you will be able to get a ridiculous amount of cementing paste. I've gotten about 700 and I've only gone in for about 30 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean by that. First off, you're going to need the location. 24, I mean, not 24, 64.8 and 35.1. There you go. That's the entrance to the cave, also known as the swamp cave over on the island. Now, if you want to smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and consider subbing to the channel. That would be awesome awesome if you don't mind up close to 100k and that's what i've been going for all along all right so how you do this cave is pretty simple i'm gonna go ahead and draw i'm just gonna keep the cementing paste so i can show you what it's like to how long it really does take all right so there's all that now what you're gonna do you technically don't need any armor you want to bring a backup gas mask however and a couple of medical brews if you can because if you do get shot by some of the bugs down here it'll remove your stuff so the Beazle Bufo is a special tame because once it goes into the cave, right, it's able to take any bug. So like not the larger bugs, but the flyers or the uh, crawly little ant looking things. And it converts them directly into chitin and you see a mega array right there, right? And it converts them directly into, as you see, 28 for two of those. And this is on 1x, by the way. This isn't boosted. This isn't anything. This is 1x with just a generic frog with OK. It's a wild tame. It's got a good saddle. The better saddle you have, the better you are. Saddles are really easy to find in this game, so it's not too difficult. But it doesn't have heavy damage. I just want you to notice that when you're trying to go after things. So, like, see how I'm doing 36 damage to the Akatina? So you always want to use your secondary attack because it's got like a spread instead of a specific hit. See how that does a lot, uh, I mean, it does more damage when you're trying to use the one, but uh, that's up to you. So as we're going down this, we're just going to swing and find all the Mega Nerea. Now, what you want to be careful of is when you get close to these things, the larger bugs like the Arrhenios, the Titan Boas and stuff like that, you're going to have to be careful because they are cave dinos. They do a lot of extra damage and they're much higher level, right? So you want to be careful about that. Now, you're going to get chitin off of them. You want to keep the chitin and the cementing paste. And you're going to keep moving down. Now, you don't want to go into these open rooms too quickly because if you do, you're going to run into some very big problems with large congregation of things that tend to happen over time. But these, uh, just, just go slow and you can do this. You can bring an extra person with you if you want. And uh, it, it is very simple to do. Just go slow. And once you get to the larger rooms, like I'm about to do here, right? Just move slow once you get near them, right? The reason you want to do that is because sometimes these larger rooms are filled with a ton of different creatures and they will kill you. So just go slow. You can pretty much go every direction in here in order to maximize the amount of cementing paste you're going to pull out. Now, the larger rooms is where you're going to find most of the bugs as well as the uh, little crawly things. But see what I mean? Like they kind of yank you out of the way. Uh, and you're just going to keep swinging and get backed up by these things, which isn't a bad thing to get back and up, by the way, because you're actually benefiting from it. So we're just going to keep swinging, and we're going to slowly kill all of them. And as they push you across the room, you're actually getting helped by this, because when you're getting pushed across this room, um, they are backing you up and actually letting you get hit less. So this is the one thing you have to be careful of. So notice how we got pushed across the room, but we pretty much cleaned everything in here. If you need leech blood, this is also a great way to do that. Kind of stick out the tongue of the frog and get some good leech blood off of this. And notice how I've already got 44 leech blood. That's pretty freaking good. Um, yeah, so you can't really complain about that. Um, I can't see that one that must be stuck in the wall over there. But it's the larger rooms that you're going to kind of have the more big problems with. If you see an Arthur Aplura, just be very careful because they can cause serious problems. Again, when you're running through this thing, you're going to see some larger things too. Um, some of these red drops will exist. I highly, highly recommend that when you do um, get into this cave, you kind of do what I'm doing. Kind of move into a corner. Because as I'm moving into the corner, like I talked about earlier, when you get pushed around by this, the frog doesn't take any damage from uh, water. Breathing the water, but you want to make sure that you're kind of close to everything, but still being left back, so you're actually getting your full range of attack on everything. Now, yes, this is a high-level frog, right? But as you can see, it's not a big problem. So you're kind of just slowly chunking away at all these things. Oh my goodness, that's a 260. That's why it took so long. And unfortunately, 
unfortunately we didn't see any Mega Dragon when we were in here, but oh my goodness, you are a very large spider, huh? Alright, so, cool thing, right? So we've gone ahead and we're going to clear out all these leeches so we can get smoked by them. Because they will attach to your character as soon as you get in here. But, you can get a red dropper. It's like a free bonus. Not only do you get a ridiculous amount of uh, cementing paste, but you can also pick up a red drop. And these are usually pretty good red drops. As you see right there, we got some more ascended saddles. All right, so you just keep doing this entire cave, right? Usually speaking, you're gonna walk out of this cave with about 10 to 15,000. Here's some Mega Nerea, all right? There's a low level Titan Bowl, looks like that. Some prime meat and everything. Um, we're looking for those. See all the Mega Nerea over here? Look at this, 120. And we haven't even really done that much. So, we're also gonna swim with these guys as we go by and I. Alright, aim up a little bit, and it'll help you out a lot too. See how I'm kind of moving up with when I go. Just 216, 224, 260. Let's get all of this. Let's go. And we want that 436. That was a pretty good little session right there. And that's pretty standard of what you're looking for. 474 right off the bat. We take that. And see how we got into that big room, but we kind of went slow and we just let him back, uh, back us up here? That's what we're going for. You want to get backed up because you don't want to take too heavy of damage um, before you get the damage into them. So notice again, we're slowly moving into this room. And there's a ton of stuff around this corner, so we're going to let them back us up here. And we're just going to slowly go backwards. And you're slowly going to kill these things. And again, look at all the uh, result health. You can your health. And we're going on to another grave here. Alright, so you got some uranium pushing us back here. And we are getting a ridiculous amount of CP, right? Check this out. Alright, so cementing paste. Look at all the cementing paste we've gotten when we've down here. Now, if you want to, you can heal your frog up using all the raw meat that you're going to get. So you can sit here um, and do this for hours on end, but you will come out of this cave with at least, assuming you do the entire thing, right? You're going to come out with at least 4,000 cementing paste, which is huge, especially in the early game, which is what you're trying to do. Just maximize the amount of stuff you can do. Now, a lot of people get lost in this cave, but it's actually pretty easy to get out of. You just want to stick to the right and stay going uphill, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is terrifying. Alright, see what I mean though? If you make the wrong mistake like I did, just let them hit you. They only want to hit you at a time because they're holding you back. And then you're slowly going to get pushed and kind of like, oh, no, I'm down like this. I'm going to make a mistake. But, you see the point, right? All right, so everything should have just got smoked by us there. That spawn point is all good to go. Pretty sure, yeah, there's a yellow drop up in there, but as long as you're going uphill, you should be heading in the right direction. All right, there we go. So we should be just about out of the cave. Right and up and just about out. Oh man, I almost took a wrong turn there. Uphill we go, that's the point. If you want to set a waypoint too, that could be really useful for you, so you try and end up back towards that. But, we should be out, there's the cave entrance, and we have now rendered out of the cave. So, just like that, we are out of the cave, and we have made a profit of about 1500 in less than 10 minutes or so. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. If you don't like mine, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and consider subbing the channel. That would be awesome. All right, teach out.